on the show, writer, actor, comedian. You know when I say your name, people are like, Sabrina, Sabrina, what do I know? And then they see your face and then they know. Then you, then you unbutton your shirt and you show them your Sabrina Julie's tattoo and they're like, oh, that girl. She's for real. Yeah. She's for real. And how many women out there and, and how many good performers can get away with the idea of saying it's a brown listed tour? How do you get brown listed? Well, uh, I think you have to be officially brown listed, which I unfortunately was. I came out to my Muslim family and they said, uh, no thanks. Head back in the closet, and uh, they stopped talking to me. So, um, so serious life pivotal moment. Yeah. But as a, as a comic, uh, you save on the therapy bills, and you talk about it on stage. So, so that's what my is, tour is. This is why she shot me down after all those years. Now all those years. I mean, I wanted to leave it vague just to affect your confidence. <laughs> you know, you can't have too many brown dudes walking around with more confidence than you. You know, it all makes sense now, Sabrina. <laughs> I can heal. I can move on. Well, but yeah, I don't want you to move on. No? No. I still support you. That's right. I, dang I dangle my sexuality in front of you like a Karen. <laughs> like, I mean, it's vague. After a couple mimosas, who knows, Riaz? Oh, my. Have me on your show. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, but let's get serious for a second because, you know, uh, coming out, this is an important message, and you're a role model to many with this. Your extended family really struggled with the issue. Yeah. Well, I was sort of debating with my parents for a long time on whether to come out. And, uh, you know, they were like, no, just keep, keep things calm. And I was like, guys, I'm married now. Like, what's your five-year plan with this secret? I yeah. keep on showing up to family things with my white best friend. Oh, <laughs> look at her. She comes to everything. She loves Ramadan. So, <laughs> so and then pretty soon we've got, like, a little kid best friend. I can't keep that secret. So I came out. Okay, so this is actually on your website, SabrinaJalice.com. This, this video is beautiful. Yeah, and, uh, that's my wife. Look at her. She's hot. And a uh, very intimate and uh, cry face. We oh, cry you face. put the cry face I on have that? I never see Sabrina with cry face. Look at this mind game. But you let the family know via email. Is that is that right? Yes. So we have uh, like a, a mass email that we keep people up to date on things that are happening with her. We've got a big family. Yeah. Um, and I decided to do it that way because, you know, th that way everyone found out at once. And with email, you can be diplomatic. You can say like, you know, I love you. I know this is going to be shocking. And then here's the gay. And then say Sandwich it with some love, yeah. and I figured maybe that would be the best way to go. I've had phone conversations since. Like, the uplifting thing is since I came out, some people have come to me and kind of on the down low and, and said it's okay with me. Yeah. The problem is, and the reason why I wanted to talk about it, is it's not okay to to you know, throw someone under the bus because of who they are. Mm. And I think we're at this vague time right now where sexuality is, you know, like in the States, it's a debate. Are they gay? Are the gay people gay people? Are they people? Do they deserve rights? Yeah. Um, but it's a pivotal time with DOMA being uh, crushed. Mm. And, uh, and yeah, I think it, for me, this is sort of like a, a way of saying I'm gay. I'm a normal person that you like. And, uh, and hopefully getting through to my family through breakfast television. That's it. This is like, this is therapy this is for it. you. This is it, yeah. Hey. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe this is my way of reconnecting with them. Well, you know, you're going to reconnect with your Vancouver audience. I know you left Canada. You took the plunge, went down to New York City. Not easy for any comedian or writer out there. No. I mean, people are full of confidence there. No justification sometimes. No. I saw a homeless guy in New York walking around. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. <laughs> Where did you start? Where did you start? <laughs> So, but, I mean, but, you, yeah, so, so, I mean, it's been, I figured I could get famous, though, in New York. Yeah. Because uh, Kesha's famous. <laughs> That and was my number one. I was like, wow, she... there's a talent recession. They're giving it away. <laughs> and she can do it. Anyone can do it, right? Yeah. What is the most unique uh, comedy club you have played in, in New York City? Because there's some great ones and then some basements to play oh, in. Yeah? You I mean, I, well, so when my first manager was testing me out, he took me into, like, uh, the Bronx, yeah. into this place that smelled, I mean, it smelled like a weed factory. Okay. And I go in, and the guy that's hosting has like like a full grill, and he's like, "Yo, shut up, shut up!" Like like he was like like he was reprimanding like inmates, and then they all like sat down, and then I walked on, and then they, they laughed. I mean, I looked like a punchline. It was like you know like a scene from Eight Mile, except I didn't have the rhymes to back it up. I think they were just scared. <laughs> they were scared of my swagger. <laughs> you got swagger. Uh, and uh, I want to ask you about this because as you make moves in New York City, and I'm hoping yes. you get this gig, uh, G Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Fallon's one of my favorites. What's going on? Because I heard rumors that you were close, close Ooh, to getting in there. The 
Rumors. The rumors. Yeah, well, they came to a show of mine. They really liked me, and then they had me submit, and then they really liked that, and then I submit again. And the timing wasn't right, but I'm actually submitting uh, this week yeah. again to be a writer for Fallon. So. You go, girl. If you come to my tour, maybe you will get me a job on Fallon. <laughs> is that how you promote? Yeah, That's that, how you promote, That right? is the perfect it's a, it's a fine blend of confidence and just begging with your parents' accent. <laughs> uh, the show's tomorrow night at the Rio. Yeah, uh, Riaz will be there. I'm going to be there. My brother's coming to this. You know, I've been a big fan of yours for years. I remember sitting at the Jess for Last Festival. Was it five years ago? No, it must have been 100 years ago. Close to. My hair was still black back then. Oh, my God. It so it must time. have been the 80s. <laughs> this is a long time ago. What, what, what are you going to uh, riff on uh, during the show? What am I going to riff on? Yeah. Well, if I gave it away now, and that wouldn't be a very good sales. Give me a tease. Give me a tease. Marriage? Mm, marriage? Mm, mm. Okay, yeah. marriage. Am I going to talk about marriage? Yeah, I'll talk about marriage a little bit. Don't get bit. too close. You're teasing uh, me again. Okay. Please. Breaking my heart. Um, I'll talk about coming out. I have Republican uh, in-laws now. Oh. I was the first lesbian they met, so I talk about like what must they have thought was coming to their house the first day. Just kick down the door. I've stolen your daughter's heart, <laughs> and I've built a deck out front. Callers, 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 <laughs> plaid. That's pretty good for just a, just a quick, quick, little right joke, quick little joke on demand. Yeah. Oh, it just keeps going. Listen, we're out of time, but if you want to see Sabrina tomorrow Ooh. night, uh, sabrinajalice.com is the website. We'll do a ticket giveaway because you're so generous. Don't, yeah. Don't do it. Is your wife watching this? Um, ooh, she is. She'll be embarrassed about that mic pack. We'll send her this clip. Don't worry about that. Contest at btvacouver.ca. Check her out. Brown listed. I love you. I love you, too. All right. Let's go to Dawn. Ooh, that okay, was. Get out of here now. You get out, <laughs> yes. Okay, where you going? See you later. Are we still on? Yeah, we're still on. Ooh, cool.